Hey everyone, and welcome to today's daily. Today, we're going to be taking a look at TSM Hanser playing Gangplank in the top lane against Kled. Gangplank is still popular even after the nerf to his barrels, though his laning phase has dropped off a bit. Laning against Kled, he's going to need to be extremely careful about getting engaged on and be conscious about being hit by Kled's bear trap on a rope, as that will open him up to being hit by Kled's full combo. Another thing to take into consideration for this matchup is the junglers. Kled has an aggressive J4, while Hanser is playing with a Nunu. While the 1v1 will already go poorly for Gangplank, the 2v2 will go even worse. When thinking about how to structure your game plan in lane, it's really important to consider how your actions will affect your teammates as well. In this case, Hanser will want to avoid putting himself into positions where Nunu has to bail him out, because if he gets counter ganked, it's over. With all that said, our goal is to survive in this laning phase and get as much farm as possible. We're on a scaling champion, and we've leaned into scaling even more by starting with Relic Shield to help our gold income. To accomplish this goal, we'll want to achieve a few missions. First, we'll want to avoid trading with Kled. Second, we'll want the wave to push toward us so that we can farm under or close to our tower safely. Third, we'll go for Q or Barrel Poke onto Kled whenever his bear trap is down. With that said, let's hop into game. As the lane starts, Hanster is sitting in the brush hoping to get a pot shot Q onto Kled. It turns out that neither of them had the leash, so he heads over to start the lane. We always say it and we always will. Anything you can do to get an advantage before lanes start is worth it. As they dance back and forth, note that neither of them is rushing to push the wave. This is caused by two things. On Kled's side, he wants to keep Hanser in this middle area where he can trade with him. On Hanser's side, he wants Kled to push into him so that he can farm safely. Right off the bat, Kled has gotten a Q off onto Hanser. We're about to see why this is really bad for him. So as the trade ends, Hanser has lost 60 more health than Kled. This is an immediate advantage, and if it happens a few more times, Kled is going to be in a dominant position. However, if we recall back to the missions, Kled's Q is now down, which means that Hanser can equalize with Q harass of his own. He's able to get two Qs in here during the cooldown of Kled's bear trap, which is great. However, in case you weren't aware, a recent patch made it so that minions will target you when you use targeted abilities onto enemy champions. Because of this, we see Hanser immediately run off right after using his Q so that the caster minions will stop attacking him. As they both hit level 2 here, Gangplank skills up barrels while Kled has his charge. Note that with charge, Kled's effective range on his Q is going to be about twice as far since he can charge in quickly and use his Q. This boils down to what we call threat range, and essentially, Hanser just has to be a bit more careful with how low he gets. On the other side of things, Hanser has a strict range advantage if he can get a two-barrel chain onto Kled. This really opens up the potential for a skill in this matchup, because if Hanser has fast fingers, he can consistently land barrels. But if he isn't fast enough, his barrel will be destroyed and Kled can then charge in on him. Here, Hanser gets a great barrel off, timing it to punish Kled on his blue minion last hit. Kled reacts instantly, trying to charge away, but he still takes the damage. This is an excellent trade and something to take away for your own games. Even though setting up barrels is really obvious in the early game, you can still punish people by setting up your first barrel right out of range, then chaining your second barrel as they go for their last hit on a low minion. Here, Kled uses his bear trap. Thinking back, times when his Q is on cooldown are when we have freedom in this lane to farm minions or go for harass. In this instance, we think Hanser could be opting for farm over harass because Jarvan could be ganking him any moment off of a 3 camp timing. We see a bit of Q harass here, and Hanser sets up another barrel, expecting there to be low blue minions for Kled to come and get. This is just good standard play from Hanser, and you should definitely copy it. After all, Kled has to come kill minions if he wants to get gold, and because of that, he's going to eat damage from the barrel. 
This is a big reason why Gangplank is really annoying to play against if you're a melee champion. We keep seeing Hanser dodge these Kled Qs, which is single-handedly winning him the lane. Now that he's level 3, Kled Q is down and Nunu is in his back pocket counter juggling. And this means that Hanser has completely free reign over the lane. Kled takes a Q from Gangplank and gets dismounted as he throws his bear trap out. He sees Nunu and knows that he will die, so he flashes in and tries to go all in to get his Scarl bar back to full. However, he instantly drops, and Int might as well be part of the word. He didn't have to all in here, but we think that Kled was really feeling the pressure and overestimated his damage. In any case, as they push the wave into Kled's turret, he loses 7 minions to the tower before he's able to come back. Hanser is already up 800 gold and nearly a full level, but we're not done yet. Off of his base, Hanser is able to get a Sheen. Also notice that he isn't teleporting back to lane. This is because there's no reason to teleport back to lane after you've bounced a wave into the turret. He's going to lose max of 1 minion, and in return for it, he's going to save a really valuable summoner spell with an extremely long cooldown. Now, as we're watching Hanser head back to lane, Let's revisit that item buy. Sheen is really where Gangplank starts to take off. With Sheen, he's going to be able to posture much more aggressively because his poke is going to be extremely painful. Instead of sitting back at the caster minions like he was doing at the start of the lane, we're going to see Hanser play up at the melee minions now instead. He's also going to set a barrel up immediately, and this is where things get really painful for Kled. At this point, with his position, the only thing that could go wrong is if Hanser plays over aggressively and goes down to Jarvan, who just by the way is currently dead. We see Kled have to go for a Q to try and farm, and even then he gets punished by a Q barrel barrel combo from Hanser that chunks him out for 20% of his health. As the wave pushes toward him, Gangplank doesn't want to have a huge wave, so he clears a bit of it out. Doing this opens him up because he's used two of his cooldowns, so Kled tries to strike. The idea from Kled here is actually okay, but the execution missed the mark due to this dodge from Hanser, followed up by a painful punish that removes another 20% of Kled's HP. After he takes one more Q, Kled is at half health, and we can see that he doesn't know what to do anymore to fight against this. In his position, he needed to land more of his Qs and go for combos, but it just hasn't been working out against Hanser's strong positioning and the gank from Nunu. Something to notice about Hanser's positioning against Kled is that he's always within the middle of a minion wave. That's because Kled's main play is to charge forward into him, and if he does that, he'll take aggro from all six enemy minions. Here, we actually see Hanser get greedy by positioning away from his minions and we're going to show you why Kled normally wins this matchup. As you saw, that trade was just insanely good for Kled. And just imagine if he had been hitting Qs earlier, or if Hanser had been mispositioning away from his minions. If either of those two things had been happening, this lane would be looking a lot different. On the minimap, we can see that Jarvan is on topside and that Kled is asking for help. In top lane, we can see that Blast Cone isn't up yet, so Hanser is feeling confident enough to play hyper-aggressive against the demounted Kled, even if Jarvan comes up. He also gets an insane barrel chain off here. This is a bit of an overextension from Kled, but overall, Hanser is just flexing his skills on Gangplank right now. Kled comes back into vision, and Jarvan goes over the wall on the newly respawned Blast Cone. However, it doesn't look like Hanser wants to back off. In fact, Hanser has been watching his XP bar this entire time, and kills the last minion to get level 6. Along with this, he gets an empowered Q onto Kled, and kites back into his minions, so that Kled has no chance of being remounted. All the while dropping his ult to disincentivize Jarvan from EQing in. He flashes in to follow on Kled, and finishes him off with his Q. After clearing out the wave in Jarvan's face, he's up a disgusting 1600 gold, 
and is over doubling Kled's net worth at just 6 minutes into the game. So to recap this, the main things to take away from this laning phase were how Hanser destroyed Kled when he followed a couple of simple rules. First, he realized that Kled has to charge into trade, so he stayed positioned in the absolute middle of his minions. We also saw the importance of this positioning because the one time that he extended out of this position, he took a horrible trade. Next, he always traded back on the Kled with Parlay when Bear Trap was on cooldown. This helped equalize early health bars, and once he had Sheen, he was able to really wreck Kled when his charge and trap were on cooldown. Lastly, he abused Gangplank's strength against melee champions by setting barrel combos just outside of where Kled wanted to last hit, making it so that Kled had to choose between taking damage or getting gold. Alright, that's it for this one guys, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.